Okay, folks, Bingo Black, and basically we just got a bunch of footage, and we're going to be coming back and studying this. There's going to be a bunch of stuff to be able to uh, show you. There's some dramatics that you can see the moon when you slow this shot down. I don't know if I'll have time enough in here to put it in. but And then we got the 14th here. We got the footage from the 14th. And I'll also throw you the footage real fast from... And basically, this should be Earth right here doing this action here. And we have more planetoid objects that we can see that basically more than likely they were blocking out an ID basically right there. Uh, so we got a lot that we're going to be coming back and looking to on here. Uh, I'm just giving you the, uh, you can see the flaring going along, it's Earth, you can see Mercury's mark. Uh, we got to concentrate on what we're interested in and I think they're not, they haven't talked about yet. I've been hearing rumors about something, but you got to start realizing going through the tail of this. This is Pan Stars on the, I believe, the 16th footage, okay? This is footage from the 16th, and this is footage from the 16th. Now on here, you can see the stuff that is either, either going to be known to be breaking off of pan stars, but then that's somewhat of an excuse because of the size of this stuff. It's too big. Uh, and then NASA was blocking, so there's a good factual that these two here could be following along the nodes. And I'm going to take you to some fresh footage from some guy blew up. So we'll actually have a good view from Earth here too, but uh, we've got objects that are in our solar system here over by, and this isn't Mercury, okay? Mercury would be somewhat closer. There's a slight possibility maybe you could say that that's Mercury or something up here is Mercury, no matter what. But then you got lines of magnetic, and you can see the lines of magnetic here, so this stuff is smaller, but you also know that it's here, it's CME action. This is the shadow side of these objects, okay, here and here. And another good example too is now this should be Earth right here. Okay, that should be Earth right there. Okay, that is Earth basically. Okay, that is Earth. Okay, make sure you know that that is that is Earth right there. Okay, that is Earth. Absolutely Earth. Now, what I can show you real fast is when we're here on the 15th, we can blow up in size. Well, you just go over to 400, and you're going to be able to see the moon, okay? And I'll be able to prove to you that that's the moon. Now, on the 14th, I think I can, I actually have a better shot of being able to freeze the moon. It's the little starlet, looks like a little starlet around the backside of the moon there. I mean, the, of the Earth, of Earth. Us, ladies and gentlemen, Earth, 999 real fast, and then we'll cruise over there. You're going to see what I'm, what we're seeing. You can pretty much see the moon as it does its rotation. You see that little sparkle there? On the back side, on the dark side? That's the moon. Okay? So you got the moon, and I can point. It's right there, the little sparkle. Okay? That's the moon. Okay? Now there's tons of stuff what this thing showed us, but what I'll do is I'll back out again real fast. There's going to be all kinds of planetoid objects. As you can see, what people are starting to be interested in is the idea, see this Hail, all this static electrical and also whatever is possibly ice breaking off and so forth and so on. Now, we shouldn't be worried about anything because of anything debris wise, but what they're starting to wonder about, it's not, we know that they've already realized that comets are not ice balls, they're not snowballs. They are, they might have an icy covering sometime from going through space. NASA's already designing something to get fresh water off of spaceships out in space when they travel fast so that they can have drinking water from the outside because basically right now they reprocess their just like we do in the cities down here but they have a machine up there that reprocesses their bathroom yeah they drink that for drinking water okay then they also bring up clean water also for emergencies in case that breaks down and that's the ISS space station that does that okay so we'll stick with with these two shots here I'll show you the other one from the 15th okay as you can see that static electrical that's going out in space well it's the, partly to do with that which I'm not I'm just gonna keep calling it pan stars because I'm factually actual I do not think that it is a comet uh, and I think they're starting to realize this too this wasn't no comet because the magnetical 
and it's absolutely because of the magnetical. It's like this could be a big orbital of the Milky Way galaxy of another supergiant sun. Okay, as you realize that Earth is sitting there, we rotate to the east, the bright side over there, and there's the sun over there, and this thing's just going up a ladder. And I'll take you, and we can get you some also some footage from. Uh, we've got over here. You can see it going by on the 14th. It's moving a little slow. As you see, that's the big tail going by. And then we can also see it on the 15th. And I really do believe that they're starting to be concerned about the, uh, and I'm gonna drop these out real fast. So that's the footage from the 15th real fast. And they played it fast too, okay? So I'm gonna drop these. Because what the, also the concern is wind too from coming from off of pan stars going by and also the wind off of the CMEs that we've gotten recently. Now we do have a fresh CME also that I can give you and I don't know what I've got NASA data up here but you can see how t big the tail is there's some more of the, the recent from the 17th so I'm beginning to believe that they're starting to worry about wind now you can see how bright it is okay so and these are fresh I mean it's basically putting off more light right now than what uh, so in that's not just that's not ice crystal folks because the Sun is not an ice crystal okay and then it's just how hella bright it's getting. Okay, so now, and yes, okay, it's not clo getting closer to the camera either, so you can't say that, okay, well, it's because it's getting closer to the camera. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll pop down real fast. We had that one. I'm gonna give you this one. Okay, and just different times. As soon as I get the time, then I'll pop back. more to go it's not really much I mean it's just but it, you can see how damn bright it is okay and then also below there you can see objects that are basically getting illuminated that are up there so there's plenty of material out in space in our solar system that's not that far away from and because we're gonna be going and I'm not I don't have time for computations and stuff right now because the footage is coming in and we've been you know I'm just basically not on this stuff 24 7 you know so and then as you see also then we got another objects that's showing up because we're getting a lot of light luminosity from the sun and the comet together so we're getting stuff to pop in so that's that shot and then uh and then that's not mercury okay so also we'll go along and i'll get you uh we've got this action from the 14th and you can freeze the moon in on this shot of it coming by and like I say folks they're starting to be one because see we're rotate counterclockwise okay this thing's just shooting through our solar system and basically from in our Milky Way galaxy more than likely this is an orbital of because of the as you see we've got three or four days of footage here okay and we're gonna be seeing it for a long time this is an or, orbital of more than likely a supergiant star so now basically I can go up in size a little bit well I'll try to stop it and I'll hit play again and we're what we're gonna try to do is get the moon up there boom whoop, I did it wrong I gotta catch it just right and there we might but there is and now I'm gonna hit reverse there is where you can get just the moon on this and now I'm gonna go forward boom 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 and we will get it just the moon Either that or it's on the 15th, you can get it. Well, play around with them. Go to Sechi, play around because you can get the moon, just the moon showing up on one of the, uh, I think it was this one or the 15th. Okay. So let me get over to uh, Space Weather and I'll give you some more of that there. Now, folks, if you watched the video before I had this one, I did catch some stuff off Heliodor that, that they took down. And basically, there is a lot more than just like when we seen Lovejoy. There's more stuff coming by or breaking off with this. And then and that's what I think that they're worried about. Okay, is this stuff... And then we'll be going through 
uh, will end up going through its tail, which is very large. So, I mean, because we counter clockwise, and as you can see, that basically um, this thing, you can pretty much see the magnitude inside of it, size of it, and uh, because of doing the heat, I mean, this is infrared, and uh, this thing has got a lot of ice crystals because it's basically going through space and it's making a bunch of ice and crystals and stuff like that. But this thing is a, definitely a falling star. Uh, I really can't, I, I just do not believe that this could be anything more than some humongous meteorite, planetoid object, or uh, an orbital, an orbital, fast orbital. Uh, but then you know, the idea that if it's going around such a large supergiant of the Milky Way galaxy, or even po it, you know, possibility of something that fell out of another galaxy, that, that you know, there's that's the less possibility. Uh, thanks, Peter Rosen. Or I hope I said the name right. But no matter what, uh, this kind of confirms that we really kind of do believe that this thing is breaking. Up. You know, but it's, as you can see, it's. It could be hitting stuff as it's going through space. As we have seen that they blacked out uh, on NASA footage that I showed you the other day in the last couple of weeks. Now that's very important to go to my site and watch the last half dozen videos because I've been giving you updates on all this stuff that's going on. A bunch of data on the sun and so forth and so on. So, uh, it's just that there is more than likely that this is very highly, that this is, I mean, just this picture alone right here is just straight up, because you're right in on the eye of it, but more than likely that's the size of what this thing is, right there. Uh, this thing's huge. Uh, and I think NASA's starting to realize it too, that big time, that this thing is more than likely not a comet. Okay, you could consider it a comet, but, it, well, they already know that they're completely wrong on the same comet, because they, when they did that study, that uh, it dropped the, it made an explosion in the idea that it wasn't ice. So, uh, just an icy covering, if there was even that moisture or something like that builds up. Like I say, they know that they can get moisture from outer space from having a spacecraft go through space. So, he zooms in and does this synopsis on this stuff here. I can get up on size on this stuff a little bit. And then go back to the sexy footage that we're getting. And then, it's there's a great possibility of tail debris that we're going to be going through on this thing. They've talked about it on other comets, and what's bothering me is they really didn't talk about it on this comet at all, but I think they're going to have to open their mouth up and start saying, because the actual factual is, uh, that's just seeing me off the sun, and we've got another one, we just had a recent one. Uh, this tail is massive, and I mean it's black, it's, it's blocking uh, electrical activity from the sun. Okay, to the Earth. Well, actually, it's a good thing that, uh, I mean, the sun is almost like I've always said, a baby cub. You know, it's just like, come on, stay with mama. Because basically, this thing came through and it's blocking a lot of static electrical. I've always told you, this is static electrical that you see here from the sun to keep us magnetically, statically clinged like a balloon to the sun. And uh, this thing is uh, doing a massive. You can see there on your computer screen or laptop screen. Like I say, it's always a lot nicer to view this stuff with a with a laptop. So I'm gonna put this thing up to 200, and uh, like I say, you can see the moon. I caught it on the 15th there, and you can also see the moon uh, when you freeze. I'm pretty sure, probably when you freeze, what I was seeing here on the 15th is probably when you can see the moon. I'm getting here at 200% on this, and you can see this is the one where you can really see all the static electricals really getting blocked, and then the idea, what are we going to be going through, what's this thing leaving for debris, and then that guy's picture too, is like, okay, there's debris, so what are we going to possibly, you can end up with some kind of, uh, you know, we go 66,000 miles an hour, there could be something just floating, orbiting in our solar system now from this thing coming through, and, uh, you know, we could hit it at 66,000 miles an hour, you know, plus, it's going to be falling backwards. It's not going to be, you know. So the only thing we think going forward, like the path that it's going, is good if the material does. Now, if the material 
stays back and we go through it as we orbit around the sun at more than 66,000 miles an hour.